And now, Cameron's Weather Roadshow on NBC26. I am live in downtown Nina, where a very Nina Christmas will begin in about 45 minutes. We had a quiet end to the work week. Some sunshine, temperatures that were seasonable, and light winds in the evening. But the weather is about to turn much more active as we head into next week. Here's a look at your seven-day temperature trend. We're going to see highs in the mid-30s tomorrow, around 40 on Sunday. But then look at that. 32 Monday, morning highs in the teens on Tuesday and then falling, and then we will only be in the single digits for Wednesday. Right now, we are looking at temperatures across northeast Wisconsin that range from the upper teens across the north to the mid and upper 20s farther south and east. Right now, in downtown Appleton with mostly clear skies, the temperature is 27 degrees. We have northwest winds at around 3 miles per hour. In Green Bay, it is 25 with calm winds, and you can see just some high cloudiness now coming in from the north and west. That is in response to our next weather maker that's going to arrive later on this evening. Nothing going on across the area right now, but you can see some snow breaking out across Minnesota. That is going to be swinging in here later on tonight into tomorrow morning as another system makes its way across northern Minnesota, the UP, and northern Wisconsin during the next 8 to 12 hours. Skycast shows that area of snow pushing south and east into northern Wisconsin later on tonight. It looks like it's going to be a glancing blow, much like what we saw yesterday. Areas north of Green Bay will see some snow. And, you know, with temperatures being so cold, there's going to be some minor accumulations out there as well. It looks like a dusting to around a half an inch or so here across parts of Marinette County into central and northern Door County by tomorrow morning. Behind that system tomorrow, we'll see clouds mixing with some sunshine. As winds turn to the south and west, it's going to start to warm back up. We'll be looking at highs in the mid-30s. Another system moves in on Sunday, and with cloudy skies and warmer temperatures, we'll have the chance for some very light precipitation in the form of maybe some sprinkles or a little bit of drizzle, which brings us to your Go Pack Go forecast. It's been a while since the Packers have played at Lambeau Field. Last time they played, it was snowing. Back in November, now here in December, there's a chance for a few raindrops with temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s at kickoff. We will see southwest winds at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. A more potent system then moves in on Monday. It looks like it's going to produce accumulating snow across the area as we head through Monday afternoon into Monday night. That'll taper off to some snow showers or flurries Tuesday morning. That's a how to head of that big huge blast of cold air that's headed our way. Take a look at what was going on across northern Canada today. Highs in the teens and 20s and 30s below zero. That's the frigid air mass that's going to visit Wisconsin as we head into the middle part of next week. So tonight, increasing clouds, a few flakes are possible north of Green Bay, some minor accumulations at best. Tomorrow, lots of clouds turning breezy as we move into the afternoon. High temperatures will be in the mid-30s. If you're heading to the Festival of Lights tomorrow night at Lambeau Field, look for conditions to be a bit breezy. Temperatures will be in the lower 30s. Once again, I will be emceeing that event starting at 6.30 in front of the atrium. On Sunday, clouds, chance for a sprinkle or a little drizzle. We'll see accumulating snow on Monday, morning highs in the teens on Tuesday, and then look at that on Wednesday, highs only in the single digits. On the backside of this blast of cold air, we will have the chance for some more snow. So once again, we have a very Nina Christmas. It starts at 6 o'clock. It goes until 8, just behind me here in Gateway uh, Plaza. They will be lighting the community Christmas tree at 615. That's after the Rudolph run. And then we have live mannequin displays along Wisconsin Avenue, Wisconsin Avenue here in downtown Nina, uh, which should be pretty fun. Lots of activities tonight, some caroling, ice sculptures as well. So a fun time. And the weather's really not that bad, Stacy. It looks beautiful out there, Cameron. I'm sure it'll come to life even more when we see you again at 6 o'clock.